its cl uh, claims, citing the country's Federal Air Transport Agency, that the Wagner military group chief, Yevgeny Prigozhin, was listed as a passenger on a plane that's crashed in Russia's Tver region to the northwest of Moscow. The criminal case has been initiated over the incident, citing an article about uh, violations of traffic safety. Emergency services say 10 people were on board, including three crew members and seven passengers. At least eight bodies have reportedly been recovered so far. Well, let's cross live now to RT correspondent Roman Korsarev for more on this. Roman, good evening to you again. Um, obviously, as we know, we just heard that Prigozhin was listed on the flight manifest. What more can you tell us about this crash? Well, uh, despite uh, all the frenzy in the social uh, media and uh, in the news, uh, we still have no confirmation whether the head of the Wagner private uh, military company, Evgeny Prigozhin, is uh, either dead or alive. But uh, we do have uh, reports from uh, Russian social, from Russian media, uh, that uh, his name was uh, listed as uh, part of the uh, crew, as part of the passengers, and it was confirmed by Russian aviation authorities as well that he was on the flight from Moscow to Saint Petersburg. Once again, at this point in time, these are all speculations that uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin was on this flight. Now there, were, it's uh, it was a private business business jet flight from Moscow to Saint Petersburg. There were ten people on board, including uh, three crew members. Uh, uh, so far, uh, Russian authorities have discovered um, eight uh, bodies. Uh, however, we still have no confirmation that Evgeny Prigozhin was uh, actually there. Now we have heard uh, witness accounts uh, from the people on the ground uh, that they heard a couple of uh, explosions there and uh, before the plane crashed uh, uh, like i said before they heard a couple of explosions um, and afterwards the wing and the stabilizer of the aircraft fell off and it crashed uh, near an abandoned uh, farm it's right between moscow and uh, saint petersburg now of course uh, there is uh, a huge media frenzy uh, right now in uh, Russia. People are trying to find out whether Evgeny Prigozhin was on this flight or not. Um, there are many uh, conflicting accounts as well because uh, apparently this uh, private uh, business jet company, um, they chartered uh, two flights for Evgeny Prigozhin. Um, and one of them had uh, safely returned back to Moscow after the first uh, plane had uh, crashed. So once again, at this moment in time, uh, these are all just speculations and we are waiting to hear from the authorities. However, we do know that Russian investigative committee have already launched uh, a criminal inquiry uh, into this case about the crash. We do know that the crash had happened. We just don't know whether Evgeny Prigozhin was on it or not. Uh, now, in case uh, for those of our viewers that don't know who Evgeny Prigozhin is, he's the head of the uh, Wagner private uh, military company who were instrumental in uh, some parts of the uh, special military operation uh, of uh, Russia in uh, uh, Ukraine. He was instrumental in liberating of the town of Artyomovsk, also known as uh, Bakhmut, um, and uh, other operations uh, as well. Now, at uh, this moment in time, uh, Russian aviation authorities are still waiting to confirm. So, anything, uh, any news that are coming in uh, from uh, any witness accounts, uh, we are waiting on confirmation from officials whether Evgeny Prigozhin was actually on the flight uh, that was uh, uh, that crashed uh, between Moscow and uh, St. Petersburg. And we still don't know uh, anything uh, about the circumstances uh, of why uh, that flight, that plane crashed. So watch this space, and I'm sure very soon we'll find out exactly what happened. There's lots of uh, unanswered questions surrounding that, uh, that plane crash, Roma. I hope you keep us updated. Thanks very much for that.